Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody Facebooked me about changing the size of the tabs for this dinosaur model that's on Epilogue's, actually their webpage under, I think they call it sample. Uh, it's pretty cool. They have a lot of files, but they this one's cut out of eight or a quarter inch MDF. He didn't say what size, but the next size I would think you'd want to cut it out would be eighth inch plywood or something. So I just measured one of the tabs. Now there's four pages of this dinosaur. And so you need to do all the tabs, but there are some parts that are repetitive. Like these two should be identical. So you don't have to, you know, worry about it, but one time and then erase that one. But one thing I would do is bring in an indexing line and get this part kind of um, level. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's, we could go a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to go five. Oh, that's too much. One degree. Well, easier said than done. Let's just do it by manually. And for the video, that's probably good enough. And you can see it's 0.26, which would be quarter inch plywood. And after you, and just for instance, this file is all grouped together. So you need to ungroup it and get individual parts. But there again, since these parts are the same, you could just do the one, delete that and make you another part. But this is pretty easy. We need to reduce this from 0.26. And eighth inch plywood is basically 0.125. And you could play it safe and actually do a test cut at 0.13. So to do that, just change your nudge factor. So we need to take away, we need to cut this in half. And half of, let me get off of it, half of uh, 0.123 or 1.13 is 0 0.065. That's going to be our nudge distance. So once it's broken apart, you'll get your nodes and just grab those two nodes and nudge it up and nudge that down. Now let's get our parallel dimension tool and remeasure that. And we've got 0.13. And there again, what I said, uh, once you do that a couple times, you can get it done pretty quick. And I would uh, just delete this one and because they're identical just delete that one get your delete key control d and make a duplicate and i'm using somebody else's file that has it set on quarter by quarter which i can't stand and uh, but you would just need to do that to all the parts of the dinosaur and there are three pages of this uh, i download them up separately but you would just do the same thing but i would really kind of stress to make sure your parts are perpendicular like this one here is not so I would grab it off the page and turn it to where that gap it doesn't have to be perfect but it needs to be a little bit perpendicular we can bring in an indexing line and you can see it's not perfect but it's close enough we'll go ahead and double click on it and just rotate a little bit more and what that does because you're going to nudge left to right so then just go and let's zoom in here a little bit. And there's also a couple of nodes that could probably be reduced or gone. Like there's a double node right there. And that node right there didn't change anything, but just grab both those nodes, cursor over, cursor over. And then just let's measure that just for grins. And you get 0.13. But I would do a test cut before I would do any of this and before you do them all I would stop right there and just cut one of these out you know like right there save a little plywood cut it out and just put it on another piece of plywood and see if it's too tight because all eighth inch plywoods are not equal and some of them might be a little thicker and some of them might be a little thinner and so you don't want to go through all these cuttings of these multiple parts, like these two parts are probably the same. 
and I'm not 100% sure I can get on that other page. Yeah, there it is. There's the other pages. So these rib cage might be the same. And to me, Epilogue got this from somewhere. They're not very well drawn. I mean, there's some things you could clean up here very easily if you're going to do it yourself. And, of course, just get that part. And there's quite a few joints you've got to reduce. But there's really no other way to do it and to keep the dinosaur the same size. If you were going to allow the dinosaur to be smaller, let's grab the whole head. And let's actually group it together. Control G. Now let's let's just try this. And this you could do it, the dinosaur would be smaller. But we need to make this in half the size. So if you click on it, it's 100%. And you have your ratio locked. Make that 50%. And now the dinosaur is going to be quite a bit smaller. But all your parts are 50% smaller. So you've got 0.13. Anyway, a lot of, a little bit of work, but it's well worth it. Uh, some of these files that they took time to draw. And uh, once you get the hang of it, it won't really take you that much time. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.